Hey everybody, it is November 4th, you guys, and I am barely making it. I'm gonna say that this counts for November 4th because it is not yet midnight. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This is day 273, and um, it is super, super late. I'll tell you guys why I'm starting so late. But yes, I know part of my walk is gonna go over to um, tomorrow. Like literally within about what, 15 minutes? But like I said, this is just gonna be one of those unique cases and I'm just gonna have like a half and half. I wasn't really planning this, but I had a super busy day. So let me get this incline. Um, the incline has been working okay on the treadmill. I don't know about the speed. I walked at speed two yesterday and 1.8 the day before, 1.7. So a couple days this week, I did get it up to speed two. And you guys, I have been waiting all this time for the oil. It just barely came on Friday. You guys know I was waiting for about a month. Okay, so I did have to start the video over because I forgot to put myself in airplane mode and I would really hate to record this and then find out that it stopped like halfway through. And you guys know me, I probably would just upload it anyway. But let's go ahead and get inclined to 15. And um, I am not used to having this book up here because it's been like, what, three weeks since I've seen you guys? So yeah, back to my recording once a week, as you guys know, or if you don't know, I stopped recording every single day, but I do still walk and I do still make up for my days in advance. And I have a lot of days that I've made up for. And so I'm gonna cover some of that. I might not get to all of it. I also have a five minute credit, but I think what I'm gonna do is I might save that credit. Okay, so this video may or may not be a complete 40 minutes. Um, we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get this up at least to speed 1.7. Um, like I said, I haven't really been walking at speed too, too often because we were waiting on the oil and I don't know how much we have left. I guess apparently there's some in a drawer in this desk right here in front that you can't see. I'm pointing over to like you guys can see it. And um, my husband's been oiling the treadmill, but we've been really, really busy. Okay, you guys know I walked for a lot of days in advance. Like I said, it's been about three weeks, right? Since I've seen you guys. Okay, so I'm at 0.7. Um, you guys know I always tell you the speed that I'm walking at. Um, it is starting to be like cold in the mornings and right now it's not too bad out here. So I might regret that I have this long sleep because I did not bring out my fan. I did not think that I would need it. And every time I came back out here to bring out all my stuff, it got warmer and warmer. So I kind of wish I was in short sleep, but that's okay. Um, we're at speed one, you guys. Hopefully this thing is oiled well enough to get through this video. Okay, and we have, like I said, some ground to cover. Um, I'm just gonna try to get this up to speed first. I've been trying to go like three to four seconds and then push the speed up some more. Okay. So let's see what happens. And I don't think I'm gonna get to all my notes. I don't because I was gonna tell you guys about uh, when we went to Vegas uh, for a family member's birthday and that was a lot of fun. So. I wanted to start with that because the rest of it is just like literally updates for like the past three weeks, like I said, or two weeks or however long it's been since I walked. Um, and as you guys know that I already had some days that I walked, you know, I call those bank days. And so some of the days will have videos simply because they were previously recorded prior to me deciding to only record once a week. Okay, so um, if the walk has a video attached to it, then I'll tell you guys, okay? Um, because I, I was, I was actually going to either A, just walk tomorrow twice. Um, like I said, I normally don't make up for days after the fact, but today lasted way longer than I thought. Okay, and then when I started my recording the second time, that's when I realized, you do realize that you're gonna be walking like, partial part one day part the other right because it's so close to midnight so yeah like i said this is just going to be a unique video um okay so we're at 1.6 ouch what shocked me okay i'm not going to push it past 1.7 i know my walks for speed two but i just want to make it through the video like i said um i haven't put up a mirror over there yet 
so I can see that it's still recording. So I'm airplane mode, and I'm just like fingers crossed, right? Okay, um, because now I have to get used to get back to even just reporting once a week. Um, like I said before, I was just running out of topics, things to talk about, and so recording every day, especially if I have to walk more than once that day, it just got to be too much. Okay, so um, like I said, we were in Vegas for maybe about a week, and this is not going to be in any specific order of what we did. Okay, so we did a lot of things that we usually don't do. Um, one of the things, I made a really quick video, it's like three minutes, about the high roller, and I guess it's called the observation wheel. We were calling it a Ferris wheel, but when you look it up, the Las Vegas it is called the observation wheel. And I think it's supposed to be like one of the tallest or something. And it's like these spears that you go inside of. Fair warning, it never stops moving. So when you get on and get off, it is slowly still rotating, okay? So um, just be careful when you get on and off. And you know, this is Vegas, you can almost drink anywhere, right? So you can get some drinks, some popcorn. Um, you pick that first, you go into a room, you uh, let them take pictures of you, and then if you want the pictures at the end, then you can pay for the pictures. I don't know how much they cost because we didn't get any pictures. Um, I'll tell you why in a second. So we got on, and when you get to what, I believe it's called the apex, which is at the highest point, it will tell you some of the things that you are up higher than. Okay, I don't want to ruin it for you guys. There's about two or three things that it will tell you. Okay, we're going to count down from 10 or 5 or something like that. And now that we're at the apex, you are at a height that's taller than X, Y, and Z, right? Okay, so I was pretty impressed. Because as you guys know, I'm afraid of heights. Um, you kind of can't tell that you're up there. But I'm going to fair warn you. Okay, so the floor of the sphere, you guys, you know how like when you're walking down the street and you're like walking on the sidewalk and you come across those doors that they're either metal or you just know it's a door. Usually, I don't know if it has something to do with like cargo, stuff like that. Um, I can't remember exactly why they're there, but you ever been walking that paying attention and even though you see it, it's not really registering and when you walk on it, you hear that first sound like you step onto metal and it kind of has a little bit of a give. It makes that playing noise, right? And you're like, oh my gosh. Then you look down and you realize and you hope the doors don't open, right? So um, it's not funny, but the floor is kind of like that. I won't say that's a metal. However, it makes you wonder, can this open up? So if you're gonna say, right, are you telling me that you think that that can open up the bottom and you can like fall? That's what it feels like. Like, I'm just warning you guys, when you're walking around, because you're going to be taking videos, pictures, all types of stuff like we did, um, it's going to have a little bit of give. I don't know what's underneath there. I'm assuming the bottom. So I thought maybe for tech reasons or something, they made it like that. And um, I don't know. Maybe it's a safety thing. So maybe if the very bottom something happens, you still have the part you're standing on. So I don't know. All I know is I was walking around and it was kind of almost like being on a treadmill but flat. And I was just like, uh, are these multiple doors? Oh my gosh. So I thought like, why would it be able to, if it could open from the bottom? I'm not saying it can, but that's what it reminded me of. Okay, so um, the drinks are really cool. You pick your slushy unless you want like a mixture or something like that and then you pick between the three alcohols that you might want in there or you could just probably have a slushy by itself I'm assuming uh, they have strawberry margarita I'm gonna tell you guys I think the margarita one is already pre-mixed even though they said it isn't because I got like this much tequila I know you guys can't see my hand but it was very very little and when I took a sip because you can get your slushies mixed I got a strawberry and the margarita mixed and I asked if the margarita one was pre-mixed and he said no. And uh, I took that sip and it didn't taste like it was a no. Okay, so I'm just letting you guys know, I'm not saying he was lying, but uh, I don't know, I've never heard of like tequila flavoring and I'm assuming at that point if it is that it came from tequila, so it's like alcoholic, right? Um, so for some reason, I still think it was pre-mixed. 
just because of how strong it was, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's why I got very, very little. If I had known, I wouldn't have done that, right? And so it's either that or they put the flavoring in there so you think that it's pre-mixed with the margarita one, and maybe it's not. Like I said, obviously he works there, he knows what he's talking about, but all of a sudden you know it doesn't taste like that. Okay, fair warning. So um, we also went to uh, Bootlegger, and it's kind of like a, I'm gonna say upscale, but kind of like a fancy restaurant, I guess you can say. And it's really cool because they have pictures of all these people that have come through, and they have um, autographed their pictures. And so it's really neat that while we sat by, you could see some of the people that came in. And that night, they just so happened to have live music that was gonna start, and it was someone playing the piano. And so it all depends on where you were seated, if you can see the piano player. Okay, so like I say, you say, oh, can we sit closer? And then they'll tell you, oh, that's actually seating. And um, I swear people are gonna like, eat and drink, right? So it's not like, I won't say you can't move over there, but if you're not seated there, you may not get moved over there. Okay, so um, I think each um, section is sectioned off per, or by the person of the way, just like, you know how they have their, their areas or sections in the restaurants, right? Um, so it was really good Italian food. I'm gonna make sure I don't leave that out. Um, I had, okay, so you guys know, I'm getting to the point to where I can't eat most cheeses, right? And you know I love cheese. Remember I told you that I am just now, this sounds crazy, but I'm just now starting to fully understand or close to fully understanding the lactose intolerance allergy. And so, um, I don't know, more lactose, more milk equals more lactose, right? And it's the sugar in the milk. And so I'm getting really sad. I'm afraid I wasn't really too fond of any way. I could live without it, um, but it's getting slim. So the dish I had was fettuccine. It had Alfredo sauce, of course. I told them no Alfredo sauce. And it had like a lemon sauce and uh, white wine. And it had capers and it had chicken. And I'm gonna tell you, it was good. I can't tell you what it tastes like without the, um, or with the Alfredo in it because I can no longer get it. Okay, so I was very, very happy because I like lemon chicken anyway. And so it was a good dish. And you get a pretty good sized portion of food. Um, I think they also bring out bread and stuff like that. And I liked where we sat. Okay, so if they bring you in and you go all the way to the right, you'll be by a wall. And I think on the other side of the wall, it's like the entrance. Like, I obviously you won't see because the wall's there. But I like that because the piano is more toward the center, at least the back area. I don't know how big it actually is. I didn't really pay attention. Um, it was kind of like a low lighting in there. But I liked it because the piano was piano wasn't just all out of my face, like or in my ears. Um, you guys know I'm not an always person. And if I'm sitting there eating with somebody, I actually want to talk to them. So I liked the fact that it was just the right amount of sound. Um, they wanted to move closer. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I was happy that we weren't able to. <laughs> um, and I did tell them, I was like, uh, I think this is good right here. Because I can only imagine how loud the piano is if we get closer. So. Um, we would have ended up sitting closer, but like I said, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was honestly happy that we didn't. Um, so, yeah. That was a good place to eat. Like I said, bootlegger. And uh, let's see, what else? Of course, Brazilian Steakhouse. That's where we took our phone number for the birthday. And it was good. Um, they had some chili. I don't really too much care for cornbread. I'm not going to lie. Um... It's always left like a weird taste in my mouth, like an aftertaste. I like my husband's cornbread, and my grandma, I call my mima on my dad's side, um, her cornbread, but I don't too much care for it. It all depends on how it's made. And so um, that's all that was missing, though. I mean, think about a piece of bread, but it just wouldn't have been the same. It was that type of chili. It was good. And they had black beans, but I don't know if it was the beans or the cheese in these uh, quesadillas at Chili's because we ate there too. Or, I don't know. I just realized I did list both, the beans or the cheese. I don't know which one it was. I love flat beans, by the way, so 
or maybe it was some type of sauce that was in it that I couldn't eat. Um, I know that's the only thing differently that I had. And, um, oh, no, no, no. And I had the black beans. So either the black beans has something in it, or, like I said, I'm getting very limited on cheese. So, wasn't feeling too well one of the days. And I was trying to pinpoint what it was, because we ate chilies, and I usually don't get sick eating from there. So, I'm assuming something was lactose, right? So, um, anyway, back to Brazilian Steakhouse. So, Groupon, if you go in there, there's a good chance that you might be able to get the dinner menu at the price of the lunch special. Okay, because I think, I don't know if you, I think you can go online and they might have discounts. But if you go on Groupon, let's say, like I said, you want to eat later, you might find that you can get the same pricing. And so um, when you get there, you're going to see a lot of discounts. The only thing that you're going to see on there really is your drinks, even though the food and the pricing is listed. So you're going to look like you got like a whole bunch of discounts. But just don't forget that it's showing your like Groupon thing and everything like that. Okay, so our waiter actually told us, oh, this is just the price for your drinks. But it didn't really click until later. That, you know, we had already, I won't say we prepaid, but you know you show your coupon code up at the front. And so I think that is where, like, you actually get charged. So they have to make sure that they give you the Groupon deal. Okay, but apparently if there's another Groupon for something else, they might give it to you. Okay, I can't promise you that. But just look at your receipt, you'll be kind of surprised a little bit. Okay, so you guys know, I was like, I'm gonna stick to something safe. Mimosas, they had some that they didn't have for Thanksgiving last year, so they have pomegranate. That's the one that I tried. And I thought, this is really good. This is what I was hoping the cranberry one would taste like. The cranberry one was like too bland. I didn't mind if it was sour, if it was sweet, or a little bit of both, but it was like kind of watered down. And so that was at Thanksgiving. So I was like, you know what, it's not even being offered. But I think they should put the pomegranate one on the Thanksgiving menu. Um, they had like three other ones. So they had the regular mimosa, pomegranate, and for some reason I remember reading, like mango and peach, but I don't know because I stuck with the pomegranate. And they had a deal where I think it was like $25 per person. I don't think it was 30. Um, it wasn't too much more than what they do on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, at least last year, it was $20 per person. And you, it was all you could drink for an hour. But um, we went around the end of October. And so I believe it was like 25. But it was unlimited. And it was for as long as you were sitting there. Okay, so that's what I stuck with. Um, they have some shredded chicken, let me tell you guys. The chicken with the bacon was good. I don't really like the fat on bacon. So um, it was actually surprisingly good. And I tried a little bit of the beef off the price, and it wasn't really seasoned that well. I mean, it's a Brazilian steakhouse. And so, you guys know I prefer chicken anyway, so I just kept sticking to what was over by the salad bar. I don't know what type of shredded chicken dish that was. I forgot by the time I sat down. But between that and the chili, I mean, the steamed rice, the olives, honestly, I just kind of ate from that side more. And uh, the rolls. I don't think they were like a biscuit thing. It was like a roll because biscuits are a little bit more crispy, right? Or I don't know what you want to call it. But you know, it's different. Um, so yeah, more dry. So yeah. Let's see. Time. Okay, so we're only at 18 minutes. And that's a good thing, actually. That's really good. Okay, so what else did we do? Alright, so ate there, had a great time, walked it off. You know, Planet of Hollywood is huge, right? And um, a little bit of browsing. Didn't really find anything there. And so we, let's see what else. We actually made a couple of changes um, to our vehicle situation. And one of them was there. So we were supposed to go shopping and we ended up missing that part. But our family members got to go and so we just like met up after that. It took a little bit longer than what we expected. Um, it wasn't supposed to take that long, but it did. Okay, so also I got to see 
another family member, and we went to the indoor swap meet, and it was huge. It was a really good size. It was like a maze. Um, you easily get lost in there. A lot of turns, a lot of different vendors. You name it, purses, luggage, jewelry, places that have jade, things like that. Um, very, very unique. I mean, there is not too much you won't see. I think there's even a part with where they have animals, like birds and uh, some really pretty birds. I think lizards, different things like that, snakes. And we did not go in there because uh, y'all know I, I'm not an animal person, period. So yeah, we didn't walk inside. We just kind of peeked from the outside in. And you want to call it the outside in, being that we didn't go inside the area, um, seeing as how it's all inside, right? And I think it was like five bucks a person to get in or something like that, two or three bucks, I can't remember. But um, it was really cool. I did get some luggage from there. And I'm thinking it might be too little. You know how like you try to have like that, if not an overnight, but like a two to three day bag. But then you start thinking, what about my body wash? What about my flat iron? What about this? And if you're like me, I don't like to put my shoes with my clothes. Um, I usually check and make sure that they're clean. But honestly, I never really clean the bottom. I do wrap them up in like a plastic bag or something. But even with that, I still don't like having them in the same compartment. And so this bag didn't have like pockets inside, but it, what it did have was it could roll. And it looks like a, a globe, um, different continents on there. And I thought it was kind of cool. I have a purse that looks almost identical to it, just different stuff written on there. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna see. Once I use it, where I can pack in the right, do like the fact that it rolls. And I think it had like one outside pocket, so I was happy about that. Um, we got some, there was a guy that used to live in Hawaii and then he moved to Vegas. He's only been there for a couple months and he sells, um, they're like little, I guess you could say aromatherapy, I don't know what you would call it. It would be, I don't know, like salt, maybe. Something in comparison, something that you can possibly put in like a bath or something like that. But he has like little pouches you get to pick. And um, I don't know, I think he, I don't know if he hand makes it or where he gets it from, but I guess he used to do that there and now he does that there. And it's supposed to, I'm gonna tell you, if you're gonna use it as a car fresher, you guys, fair warning, it might be stronger than what you think. Um, how do you solve that problem? Put the little pouch, because it's like a, it's not a cloth pouch. It's like a, a mesh somewhat. Um, or I don't know what material that is, but it's, it's not like polyester or cotton or anything like that, velvet. Um, so obviously you're not gonna put it in there and then it spills off the back because it has holes in it, no. But put it in your glove compartment, okay? Because if you're like me, strong smells and me are not friends. So that's where my husband had to put it because it was just, it was doing too much. You guys, once my head starts hurting, you guys know it can turn to a migraine like that. And so I was like, no, um, that's too strong. I can't take that. So um, there were a couple places that we went prior to when we get in there. We got there like two or three days before then. Um, so yeah, and then I'm gonna tell you, we slept, oh my gosh. Usually if we're gonna be there for about a week, we sleep for like the first couple of days. And y'all, uh, you know the tub? Okay, so in the Honeysuckle building, on the first floor, tell me what you think. I think the tubs, right? If you've been there, you know the jetty. Um, on the first floor are smaller than the ones on the higher floors. I don't know about the other buildings, but you know the Honeysuckle building is in the back, right? So let me know what you think. If you stayed on the first floor, and you stayed on, on let's say, floor 10 or whatever, and you agree, let me know. Okay, so had to get in there. I was just, my body was sore on and off. Um, part of it was a long drive. And I think, I don't know if we made it in there the first time we got there. Maybe we didn't. But that's all in the morning, you guys. I was like, I need to soak. Okay, so and be careful because the water can get really hot. Um, of course, you can control the temperature. I'm just fair warning you. Like, it gets hotter than you expected. Okay, so when you step in, 
I don't care how much cold water you put in there, you might have put a little bit too much hot water, just be careful. Um, let's see, other things, what else did we do? We, mm, we went to the Laugh Factory, and that night there was the host, and then there was, I don't know how you would word it, like opening act, and then the main comedian, something like that. There was two, maybe three people. It might have been three, including the host, but they were funny. They were all funny. And uh, they did a lot of interacting with the crowd, and we really liked it. Um, gosh, you know how they say never sit in the front? We were in the front, but we weren't like in the front. Front, if that makes sense. There were some people that were a little closer to that stage. I mean, don't get me wrong, we were like the next table over, but we just ended up not being in the spotlight. And it was funny because they have really good memories. Um, once they like learn your name or something, or they make a joke, they kind of carry that through. And so yeah, that was really cool. We also went to the ghost bar. Okay, so the ghost bar is up on like the 50 something floor. The elevator's like super fast. Um, next thing you know, you're going up and coming out. Um, you're kind of escorted like almost through the whole process. You're getting in and then it's just kind of like first, not first come first serve, but it's, it's basically free. So basically what I mean when I say first come first serve, let's say you paid, I believe it was the $40 open bar per person. I think you get a bracelet, but honestly, you may not get in any faster than anybody else that went there for free. And the reason why we went there was because Keisha Cole was supposed to be there. But we found out she was gonna possibly come later than what we wanted to not be out, but just, I'm trying to think if we had already eaten, because if we had, you know how they say, don't eat because you sleepy, right? So, I honestly, oh my gosh, I may be mixing up a couple of nights. All I can say is, you know that joke on Facebook, I don't know if you've seen it, or it might be posted on other things, and it, it said that my friend, you know, yesterday I think Adam had her to come over at 6 p.m. and knock on my door, ring my doorbell, and I was like, what are they doing? Right, so like that, um, I think I was telling you guys, that if we can, we go to bed really early. And so, I can relate to that joke. Like 6, 6 p.m., I'm wrapping it up, right? Um, in this case, living out here, I've already walked, I've already done stuff around the house. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to go to sleep. Not just lay down, watch TV if I doze off. No, because you guys know I don't sleep, my sleep pattern is, I don't sleep. <laughs> so it's like, it's not like, oh, you know, I sleep in the morning, I'm awake during the day. No, no, no. I'm awake during the day because, like I said, this walk has been helping with my energy. I was sleeping a little bit more than I started back not sleeping as much, but the difference was me not feeling tired, groggy, and having to like, take naps throughout the day or a nap at least for 20 or 30 minutes or something like that. So, um, and still feeling sleepy or tired and maybe not being able to go back to sleep or going back to sleep and then regretting that at about 10 o'clock at night. Okay, so my motto is I sleep when I can. But now, I don't mind it because I do have more energy during the day. Okay, so usually I don't take naps during the day. At one point in time, I had stopped for a while and I just had all this energy. Um, and it didn't start until I started walking in the treadmill. Okay, so let's do another time check. I just want to like I'm sweating, I haven't used any water. Um, I wasn't sure I had enough wind to talk and walk because, like I said, it's been I'm over the the schedule. Okay, so 28 minutes, 14 seconds. So, yeah, I have to make sure I mention that. Um, you can stand inside where the DJ is at the ghost bar, or you can go out. And, I mean, you're, like, on the top floor. Um, you look over, it's crazy because you see another building that has like these lights and stuff, different color lights. And uh, I don't know what that is, like club, whatever. Um, but you can see it from outside. And at one point, you guys, this helicopter came over us and it was loud. They were low. Now, I'm not gonna say, uh, well, you were like 50 some stories up so they weren't low, but they were still low. Um, because you can make out the details and read the writing on the helicopter. Yeah, it was super loud. So. In comparison to, even if we've been on the ground, that would be considered low. 
So I thought that was kind of cool. And I could have got my phone out and I didn't. I do have some quick, I'm talking about like 10 to 30 second videos of um, the view. There's this big, thick plastic glass or something. I, well, it's plastic and glass. But you guys know what I mean, like a thick plastic or whatever that is. And so, I don't know if it was like finger sponges or whatever. So I looked at it and I was like, ah, I don't know. And you guys know, I make the shorts, I get a lot of views, and then my shorts, views go down instead of up. They're no longer climbing, right? They've dropped all the way from 30,000 all the way down to like 2.3 when they should have been going up. And I probably should have been at like 40 or 50,000 views by now. And uh, they keep going down. I wrote two feedbacks and it started going down faster. So I just left it alone. So I kind of, I won't say I don't see a point to upload shorts, but you know, like I said, if I get monetized, great. But it's not gonna happen from the shorts. I don't know what's wrong. If there's a separate shorts algorithm, but it is just not being nice. So I don't see my, um, I don't see a point in wasting my time with it anymore. So I'm not saying I won't upload any, but we'll see. It seems like the more I upload, the, the more the views go down. When you can see in the studio, like I said, they, they're actually going up. And they're still climbing. And the number is still dropping. So yeah, I don't know how to explain that one. Um, like, ask why. So let's do another time check. Let's get some water going, because I did bring up my water. I'm going to go bit so late, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's do a couple updates over what happened over the past couple weeks. Because I did take notes. Remember, I said I'm going to be really, really good at notes. Better than what I already was. If I'm going to start recording once a week, right? Never really thought about, about the days I'm going to miss. And each video might be further, further apart. Sometimes it may not be every week. Okay, so 31, oh my gosh. 31.16, okay, so... I don't think I'm going to use the five minute credit. No. All right, let's flip back. And let's just do like a quick recap. Okay, so I might speed talk through this, but I want to make sure I cover as much as I can. I might have to finish up on the next recording next week. Okay, so these are notes, of course, for today. Well, now it's probably the fifth already, right? Um, so day 53 was October 15th, it was a Sunday, of course there was no video. Um, I started at 10, 12 a.m. I went to 10, 53 a.m., so it was a 40 minute walk. I had a call with my friend, and um, we moved the time. So on Sundays, uh, she asked if I would want to just be on the phone and we work out together. And I said, sure because I record on Saturday, so that'll work out perfectly. And so um, that should be tomorrow, and I'm going to probably be super tired, uh, but I really like talking to her, and so um, long, long time friend. So yeah, I started doing that, and that's gonna be every Sunday, if we can, unless of course something comes up. Okay, so um, let's see here. I did walks, it was like 2, 3, and 4, 10, 58 a.m. to 12, 59 p.m., a total of 120 minutes, okay, because what I discovered was, I think I told you guys, I do need those two weeks, either for this month or next month, um, in addition to possibly Thanksgiving week, I don't know yet, Thanksgiving week might not be happening, so I think that's kind of good because I can use those days. So I've racked up a lot. If I make it to that point, I'll tell you guys how many bank days I have, okay? So, um, on these notes, it says today includes 14 bank days for a total of 27 so far. That started on day 205, which was August 28th. I'm thinking about walking for two more days to cover day 257, October 19th, haircut day, and day 258, October 20th, which is, of course, uh, I'll use the beginning of my bank days for that. Okay, so I'll just go back from the beginning and go from there. Okay, so the numbering makes a little bit more sense. Okay, so, time check, 33 minutes, 55 seconds. Day 254, October 16th, Monday, 
Uh, again, no video. Weight was 157.6. You guys know the lowest I got was to 156.3. And I'm trying to get back down there because I was so close to 150, you guys. Oh my gosh. Um, well, I'll get there. But I started at 12.46 p.m. I ended at 2.06 p.m. I walked for 80 minutes, which equals two walks. And, of course, uh, walk two has not been marked yet. So it's considered just a bank day. Um, I decided to just keep going, keep walking. And as you guys know by now, if my treadmill gets to 100 minutes, when it hits the 100 or 100th minute, it does double zeros and or, or all four zeros and then it starts coming back up. Okay, and I showed you guys that. So I don't see a point in stopping if I'm not recording and making like separate videos like I was, right? When I was recording every single walk. Um, I just thought, if the treadmill is working, why stop it? I watch videos, I guess I'm gonna be stopping on this one with my friend, and I can do all types of things, or I can just have complete silence and just walk. Okay, so, uh, day 55, October 17th, was Tuesday. I started at 8.14 p.m. I stopped at 8.46 p.m. I was walking late because I went to have our car fixed, and I'm very thankful that it was a warranty repair. Yes. And I test drove a 2021 Atlas Crossport. Uh, four wheel drive, four motion. It was nice. Okay, so 35 minutes, 45 seconds. Day 56, October 18th. I started at 1.27 p.m. I ended at 2.48 p.m. Walked for 80 minutes. Total two walks, right? Um, Today's extra walk makes 16 bank days, plus my existing 13 for a total of 29 bank days. We gotta consider adding up quickly. Um, I'm going to mark day 205, August 28th, video two for day 257. On the notes it says, which is tomorrow, October 19th. I'm marking day 208, August 31st, video two for day 258, which is October 20th, this Friday. Because between hair appointments, and packing and all this other stuff. I didn't feel like walking those days before. Plus, my hair does get kind of sweaty, right? Even though it's pulled up now, still. So, um, I did my toes in the royalty color from Not Polished. And uh, I showed my feet, found my toes. My estimated cost was $37 plus a $5 tip plus tax. Um, I calculated it was roughly about $45. And I'm gonna update my savings. So let me see if I have time. 36 minutes, 56 seconds. Okay, so update on supplies because as you guys can see, I still can't do my nails. Remember, I had to stop for six months. Um, by December, I will be three and a half months in. Okay, so I'm gonna find out if I have to wait another three months, which will be until March, or if I can start back. And so we'll see. Um, infection, gone. But you guys know what happens when you don't have them. They break, they split, they crack, they do all types of stuff, right? How annoying. And painful, very, very painful, because you hit your fingers and everything, you reach for stuff, and oh my gosh, it hurts. So, hopefully, he doesn't tell me to wait another three months. Um, I told you guys, this is not working for me. Okay, it's just a normal part of what I do. Um, like I said, natural nails will always be there, right? So, it's almost like I said, putting on your shoes, the fact that I don't walk around without socks, things like that. It's just a norm for me. It's not like, oh my gosh, I just, it may have came off like this in my videos, but honestly, it's just the lack of the normalcy and me trying to learn. And after a while, like I said, Dominican hand only takes you so far. You guys know I have some nail videos. Um, eventually you need to practice on your own hand. And if you're gonna do other people's hands, you have to practice on other people, right? So I haven't been practicing, even on my mannequin, uh, recently at all. So I'm gonna be just as bad as I was when I first started. <laughs> You know how I told you guys in my nail videos, you guys are gonna learn everything to not do for me, right? Um, even if I can describe what is supposed to be done, I don't have that skill. And I have all those materials. So, uh, 30 minutes, 37 seconds. But yes, update on the savings. All supplies were over $1,900. Saved over 380 for a total of like, just a little under 1600 um, necessary supplies, I counted at like 1450, I'm talking about 1400, and minus the 384, 
uh, it's like a little over a thousand, almost close to 1100, uh, without the salon step and the mannequin, because I can, I was trying to figure out if I can do that necessary. And uh, that was like a little over 1500, it's like right below 16, minus the uh, little over 380, came out to like 1198, so almost 1200. Okay, so I guess in a way, if you also look at the fact that I am not going to the shop, oh, I got one pedicure out all this time. Okay, so if you count that, then maybe I'm a little closer to getting to the savings equally and balancing out the spending. Okay, so I thought about that maybe I should start calculating that because I wouldn't be going every two weeks. Okay, so uh, day 267, October 29th, 2023, I started at 12.51 p.m., went to 2.14, it was an 80-minute walk, my weight was 160.4, and since I'm close to 40 minutes, I actually am two seconds over. Okay, so I'm just going to go down. I'm going to skip day 268, 269, 270, 271, 272, which was yesterday, um, for notes, and I'm going to look for the weight, because now I'm starting to go back down again. Okay, so I see a 160.4 on day 269, and I see, I think I have one more. 159.6, the last time I weighed myself was on day 271, which was November 2nd, so just a couple days ago. And, uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. So, do I think I would have been at 150? No. But I think I would have been like at 152. So, I do know if you can consistently walk at least one time a day, instead of like how it is for my schedule, you'll probably get your weight goal a lot faster than you expect. Okay, so we are out of time. Like I said, I hope my camera is still recording. I am going to go ahead and push stop. Uh, 41 minutes, five seconds, 1.11 1 for distance, 119 calories, again at speed 1.7. And like I said, I was like, it's working. It has not stopped since the last time I told you guys the treadmill. And it hasn't done that thing where it doesn't want to stop. You know, I push stop and I'm thinking I'm still recording and this thing is still going, right? I know you guys have seen that. So it does that too, but it has not done that in a while. And so I don't know if it's going to behave more in the colder weather. We'll see. Um, update on, I think I told you guys. I don't know when or if now if we're going to move this treadmill into the house, into that room. Okay, we have to leave it kind of set up the way it is and just take the stuff out that needs to be out. So we'll see what happens with that. Do I end up inside? And I think I have a video I showed you guys the Avron sign. I got the LED plus UV printing. Okay, so I believe I have a video on that. If you guys want to see that with like the uh, features, all that stuff, pricing, I think. But like I said, I'm going to get off this treadmill, you guys, because I know... Oh, that's right. I'm used to, see, now I'm used to having my phone over here to know what time it is. And the treadmill doesn't have a clock. So, let me look. Yeah, no. Okay, so, but I know for a fact it's got to be about, like, what, 1.30 a.m. So, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get cleaned up. I'm going to go to bed. And, um, also, I don't know. I might have a, I don't know, a new blackout project. And I might use roll paint. I don't know. It's a little different. Okay, so um, I guess I'll go ahead and tell you guys I'll probably mention it at some point, especially if I do decide to do this, all the parts that are not blacked out that are chrome. And like, I don't know, I'm looking over there at it and it's like there's like this gray strip down at the bottom. And I'm like, why? Why wasn't it not chrome? It's nice. I said it was a perfect combo of like chrome and um, the wheels are black this time. So uh, Max is gone. Yeah. Um, I think it hasn't really hit me yet. Um, so yes, I kind of didn't want to replace it, but um, we did. So who knows? Am I going to black out the chrome? Or am I going to leave it? That part down that I don't like, that's not even chrome. Like I guess I don't even know why they would do that. It does match like the rail at the top, but um, I don't know. Because if I do the piece at the bottom, you guys, then this that rail, like I said, up there, the rail on each side, and I'm just like, mmm ladder and how am I going to do that and what paint would I use and I would have to be very very careful if I used real paint so 
Um, it's so crazy because I'm used to seeing the majority of my vehicle blacked out and now I'm kind of starting halfway from scratch and I'm just like, oh, what did I do? Yeah, so um, even the front, the emblem on the front, whatever you would call that, um, I had a sticker there and now it's just the logo of the vehicle because it's a different one. So I'm just like, oh my gosh. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't know. I am excited. So... Uh, I don't know if next week, if I'll fill you guys in on what is it and have I made a decision because right now, if you guys know, um, I did find out, okay, so I don't know if I'm going to mention it now, but the seat covers for the 2019 Maxima that I had actually fit this vehicle. So I found the same maker, different colors. And now I can kind of play and look. I had a whole set. It's actually sitting over there now. And it's just a little too light for me. It's too much of too light for the seat covers. So, yes, seat covers. You guys soon will cover all of that all over again. I did. I mean, the ones from the Maxima look brand new. But they don't match. So, if I finally pick something, I do have a steering wheel cover coming. I couldn't pass it up. It was the last one left. I had to get that. So, yeah, if I do go ahead and um, finally figure out what to do and stuff like that, I don't know. Um, my car videos, I'm not going to say I wasn't going to do any more of them because, you know, I kept thinking about was I going to redo some of the chrome delete on the Maxima. And like I said, now it's gone. So, I will see you guys later um, next week. And if something happens, then it won't be until the following week that I'll have a video. Okay, so you guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great, I guess it would be morning. Oh my gosh, you guys, I thought I saw something crawl. You guys know I don't do bugs. Okay, so <laughs> let me get out of this RV garage before nightlife or whatever comes out, that comes out here that I don't know because I'm usually in my house. And um, so that you guys can see me like running scream off camera. All right, you guys, stay safe. Bye.